What is behind the food lines in Venezuela? Venezuela's opposition says the reason there are shortages is that the government let production fall. But a hundred years of oil have meant Venezuelan businesses forgot how to produce a long time ago. Agriculture fell into abandon. Almost everything was imported. So what's the cause of the current crisis? Many think the key is this, the great import scam. By getting cheap dollars from the central bank, playing on the growing gap in exchange rates and lying about what they really import, Venezuela's private sector elite siphoned off as much as a staggering $259 billion of public money between 2003 and 2013. That's right, $259 billion, more than the total annual GDP of Venezuela or Peru or Portugal, Algeria, Iraq or Pakistan. Much of this probably went into those dodgy shell companies revealed in the Panama Papers. Now before we get into how this scheme has worked, it's important for you to understand that there are several exchange rates in Venezuela. There's a preferential rate for necessary imports, which was 6.3 bolivars to the dollar last year, now it's 10. Then there's the illegal parallel market rate, which was roughly 500 bolivars to the dollar late last year, or nearly 80 times the preferential rate. There are other rates too, but we won't get into that here. So here's a hypothetical scenario of how the private sector has been driving the Venezuelan crisis. Private importer, Mr. A, bought 1,000 US dollars from the central bank to import 100 cases of groceries. He got that preferential rate, so he paid 6,300 believers for the dollars. Mr. A then had several options. He might really import all 100 cases, but he'd sell the groceries at a price based on the illegal parallel rate. So each case might cost not 63 believers, but 5,000 believers. In other words, he made a massive profit in Bolivars. More likely, Mr. A only imported 50 cases for which he paid $500. Those he'd also sell at the power rate and still make a handsome profit. The other $500 he could exchange back into Bolivars at the power rate and make a killing, or invest them abroad, or keep them in an offshore account for a rainy day, or any combination of these things. In some cases, Mr. A didn't import anything at all. He basically stole the dollars. The result has been not only shortages, but an absurd gap in prices between what basic foods are meant to cost and the real cost set in line with the parallel exchange rate. Some Chavistas believe this is the real economic war, the struggle by the Venezuelan private sector to claw back a chunk of the oil revenue that it lost with the Bolivarian Revolution.